As I said in the previous episode, we just got one more thing left to do to make this to-do list or to-do application complete, and that is editing our to-dos. So we wanna click on edit button, uh, then we wanna show some form, we wanna edit that form, and then we wanna update our October CMS database with it and get the new data displayed uh, on our application. So to uh, update our to-do or edit our to-do, we are going to be needing a form. That form is going to be pretty much similar to this one that we created for our create to do that view component. So I'm just going to wrap that around a column from the foundation framework. So columns and paste that, paste that right in here, save this. If we go to our page right now, this is how this looks. So we have the title, so input the title and the description. Now, the thing is we are binding it to this model title text, but we don't want that. We want it to bind it to the actual title so that uh, when we edit our form, we actually get the text that is right here. We are going to hide this form and have a button later on when you click it, then the form will, will be shown and so on. But first of all, let's just deal with this. So we are going to do V model, not title text, but to do that title. Right. So the view is automatically going to read that property and paste it in here, actually put it in here. And we do the same thing for the description. Okay, now we have this description right here. So as you can see, every of our to do's has its own uh, input field and text area field with the values of description and title. Okay, next thing, uh, we don't want this to send form when we create it, we wanna update form. So we are going to create a method called update form and it's going to uh, actually have a value of update and close. So when we click it, it's going to close out our form and display the new to do. Uh, next thing we have this uh, the on click close form, we can leave that because we are also going to have a button when we click it, it's going to close that form. Okay, so now we have all of this set up except for this method right here. So this method is pretty important to us and uh, we have to send some data to that method. The data that we are going to be sending is of course the ID of to do, the title, the description and the status. Okay. Okay, so now we have uh, to do ID, to do title, to do description and to do status. Now we can create our update form uh, method. So this is the power of uh, view. Uh, to actually change those values, so the title and description on the view side of things, we actually don't have to do anything. We just have to define this update form because we uh, we are calling it right here on this button. So if we don't define it, then we are going to get an error from view. So we can just define it and leave it empty. We are actually going to use this method just to send that data to October CMS. Okay, so if I save this, if I go right here and I start typing something to here, as you can see, this automatically changes also right here because we bind it to this model of to do title and to do description. So whenever we change that, it's going to automatically change everything else. Okay, so now uh, we would have to uh, send that data to October CMS. Uh, this is going to be actually pretty easy. We're just going to define uh, what we are expe expecting in this function. So that's going to be ID, title, description and status.
and that is it so this is going to be a variable that's going to hold all of our data that we changed uh, next thing we need to do is uh, send that data to our uh, server or to our backend API uh, so to do that we are going to have to use Axios and you can just go to the red let's say to do list that view and import Axios first because this is not going to work if we don't import it so we are importing Axios into to do view component and now we just send this variable we already did this a couple of times So we are sending that data to the update to do route. Of course, this isn't going to work because we still haven't created the update to do route. And that is something that we are going to do right now. So we are going to go to our routes.php file and we can actually just copy this because we are doing pretty much the same thing. Uh, we are going to find the ID of the to-do that we want to change in our database and then we're going to update the title, description uh, and uh, we don't even have to update the status because we are not sending it but we will just write it anyway. So we have this API toggle to-do, it's going to be update to-do now. We are receiving the data and then from that data we are saying to October okay so now find me the to do with the ID of the ID that we just sent and then update the status title and description okay now we save this and I think this should actually work if it doesn't, unless if it doesn't. So I'm just going to try to change this one. Okay, so it's changed on the view side. We have to refresh it to see if these changes stick. And as you can see, we get new test. We can change this text right here click update and close refresh the page and now as you can see we still get this so it's actually saving in our database so now that we did that let's just make this a bit more prettier to look at okay so first of all i just want to change this update form to be actually update to do it's much more more clearer that way so update to do okay now uh, we want to hide this so we don't want this form to always be shown so I'm just going to define some data right here and that data is going to be called editing so when this is false then we don't want to show this form and to say it to view we're just going to do we show so this means when uh, editing is true then show this form okay if I save this go right here and now as you can see this disappeared so how do we make it appear again well I'm just going to copy this button so the, our delete button, I'm just going to change this alert to be primary so that uh, we get it in a blue color and it's also going to say edit. And now I'm going to create a new method called show form. So the only thing this method is actually going to be doing is changing this editing to be true. Okay, so now if I click edit, I get the form. But what I also want to do, it seems that I screwed something up right here. So this needs to go right here. Okay. So what I also want to do is I want to hide this when we, whenever we are editing our to-do. 
so the title description and edit and delete buttons so i'm just going to do v show this exclamation point means that uh, show this when editing is false okay save it now as you can see it already disappeared uh, if i click edit right here it works it works now if we want to cancel this this still doesn't work because we need to create this close form method so it's pretty much the same method as show form uh, but it's just setting editing to be false okay so now if i click edit this doesn't work for some reason i don't know why so we have let me just refresh this uh, edit nope it says close form is not defined okay so the close form is not defined okay save it let's just test it out now edit cancel edit cancel great this works and also if we click uh, and change something right here click update and close nothing happens but if we refresh the page as you can see this actually did change but the form didn't close because we just want to set editing to be false in our update to do function so uh, method actually so when we click it it's going to collect this data it's going to send the data save the data to the database and then it's going to set editing to be false so that we uh, close our form save this now let's test it out edit update and close so we have new test testing to do if we refresh this page we get new test and testing to do's okay so this is it for this video uh, i hope you enjoyed it it's probably the last video in the series maybe i will make one or two more videos for this series but i can't promise anything right now of course remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you want to ask me questions you can do the that via twitter facebook youtube and so on if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also if you want to send some money my way uh, you can use the patreon page for that uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video or maybe even next series. Who knows, we'll see.